Hey, welcome to Flight Test, I'm Josh, and today we have a very special show for you because what we're doing is we're testing uh, the transmitters for a couple of uh, Hobby King uh, little cameras that you mount on your FPV plane. Oh, my lips are frozen. They're both 200 milliwatt transmitters, uh, but the difference is that one of them is 2.4 gigahertz, and the other one is 900 megahertz. Not really sure what the difference is, but I'm sure they both hurts real bad. So uh, what we're gonna do is we have a setup here in this car uh, where Chad and Josh, uh, they can see me on the video camera and I'm going to be in this car over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive this car with me and the video camera in it as far as we can and see how far we can go before we lose signal and uh, see how it matches up. Uh, hertz to Hertz, Gigas to Megas, uh, Alpha Omega, and so on and so forth. You get the deal. So uh, yeah, let's get ready to go. All right, friends. Well, we got this crazy setup here, and basically, my other friend uh, Josh Scott is going to be driving off. And say hi, Josh. Hey, he's waving now. Josh, point to the 900 megahertz camera. There you go. Now point to 2.4. There you go. So you guys know which ones is which. The one on the right is 2.4. Both are set up with omnidirectional antennas. And uh, this is a crazy setup, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive line of sight and see how far away we can get without uh, losing transmission. And when I do, I'm gonna let them know uh, that we lost transmission. So here they go, they're pulling away as we speak. Both systems are 200 milliwatts. Everything is the same except the frequency. The cameras are the same. The only th difference is one's 900 milli or megahertz, the other one's 2.4 gigahertz. And uh, we still have them both. Let's see, 2.4 is getting a little staticky. 900 still hanging in there. I'm so scared. I'm scared that the 900 megahertz isn't gonna make it. Uh, the 900 megahertz is going strong. Okay, we're starting to get some static. Oh, both locked in solid again. 900 seems to be doing better than the 2.4 gigahertz. I can still see, a oh, little more static. And we lost 900. Stop, 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 you? you're right there. Okay, that is our limit. How far are you guys right now? 0.4 miles. 0.4 miles. 0.4. Okay, let's let's give it a let's give it a second and go back and see when you turn back. If there's no cars, try to wait until there's no cars in front of you uh, for a good distance, and then turn back towards us. 0.4 miles. That's uh, that's quite a distance, actually. Yeah, that's almost half a mile. Hey, look, why we got locked okay, in on? Okay, we're locked in on 2.4. Well, we were. We were. Now guys, obviously, I would not recommend flying with this kind of static, but uh, well, right here, 900 megahertz, just jump back into the game. 2.4 is locked on solid. We're going off of two stock omnidirectional antennas that are included with the kit. Now, if you can hit 0.4 miles, you will not see the airplane, and, and according to safe FPV flying, you're not supposed to go out of line of sight. So you're probably twice, I'd say a thousand feet, would be my comfort range in flying away. Um, you're going beyond that, uh, almost twofold. If you put a patch antenna on this, no doubt you'll definitely clear out more range. You know what? Let's let's try a patch antenna. I have one for the 2.4. Okay. So okay, that sounds good. Difference. Basically, what we're going to do, friends, is uh, Chad has from Hobby King a 2.4 gigahertz patch antenna. Now, the difference between a patch antenna and an omnidirectional antenna, basically omnidirectional. If you have your antenna here, you have a reception range all around it, but it's not as great. What a patch antenna? It's a flat antenna. It gives you a directional. Uh, it's a directional antenna. Basically, it'll give you a much farther distance in a uh, certain direction. You only have, I think it's like 170 degrees this way, and I think it's about 95 this way. So you wanna lay your patch antenna in an angle about 45 degrees up, 40 degrees up, so you get the maximum amount of distance. Because obviously, you're not flying right on the ground, you're flying up, in a way. That'll give you one line on the ground, one line almost vertically straight up, and you'll be good shape. Now, theoretically, you should get at least double the distance from a patch antenna, and that's what we're gonna find out. Um, we're gonna go ahead and Chad put the antenna on the outside of the window. We did one run and it didn't work so good on the inside of the car, but we went to the outside of the car. It's locked on steady. We're gonna see how far we go away. So we're gonna go ahead and see how the 2.4 gigahertz system, predominantly the one on the right right here, is gonna do with the patch antenna. Now right now they're behind us. Like I said, it's directional. And uh, hopefully this guy is gonna make it quite far. So keep your eyes focused on this monitor. Uh, this is the one that has a longer range, more powerful antenna. <laughs> <laughs> so far both are hanging in. A little static on 2.4. Got some cars behind them. How far are they? How far are you guys? About 0 0.3, 0 0.3 miles. 900's holding them good. This is our driver, Chris. Uh, he's a good friend of ours. And not only do they not let me fly planes, but they also don't let me drive cars. Ooh, That's why he's here. Right here. Even though I do hold a state of Ohio driver's license. Hey guys, keep driving further away if you don't mind. 
Now, I'm guessing the patch antenna here, unless we have some interference, the reason the patch antenna is having some issues is there's so much between the patch antenna and the receiver. But in general, patch antennas give you at least twice the range. Go ahead and come back, guys. We lost you. Did you just lose us? We can't see you still. Had you just lost us or have we been lost for a while? Um, you've been lost for a while. We'll tell you when you come back in the site. Okay. Uh, we're starting to get the 2.4 back. Yeah. Really? Yeah. There he is. Hey, here we are. There you are. Uh, yeah, we're a mile away. You're a mile away. You serious? Yeah. Okay, there. we're getting on the 2.4 system. They are a mile away right now, which is much farther than I would recommend anyone flying because most radio systems um, that's really an iffy area, but they're a mile away and Josh's signal is awesome on the 2.4 gigahertz. Hey Josh, you're looking good buddy. Guys, there's a plethora of cars and, and obstacles between them right now. It is not a pretty sight and uh, this is very good. For, for about 50 bucks for the base system is amazing. I think it's 50 to 50 to 60 would probably be a safe Round price. There. 50 to 60 bucks. I don't think you're going to find a cheaper system anywhere else that can perform as good as this is. Now the camera that comes with it are 420 line um, Sony uh, third CCD cameras, uh, third inch CCD is what I believe it's called. It doesn't have the widest angle lens, but the nice thing is, is you can actually get wider angle lenses that are adaptable and will fit right on that. Well friends, Josh is back. He's safe in town as you can see. Let's go ahead and check in with him and see what he thinks. All right, buddy. Well, what do you think? I'm, I'm amazed. I'll tell you what. I've flown many FPV planes. I can't believe that a system for about 60 bucks with a, a I think it's about $25 patch antenna can get you a mile worth of range. Yeah. I would never fly a mile away from me to begin with, but knowing that you'd have that comfort zone of a mile is amazing. Yeah, the 2.4 held out longer, right? And the 2.4 did held out longer. And I fly 900 megahertz, and that one did really, really good. It was a really solid uh, signal until it dropped off about 0.4. And that was going through all of this nasty stuff right here. Worst possible scenario, up in the sky, you're not gonna get those obstructions and you're gonna get far better range. So both systems are absolutely incredible for the dollar and I would not hesitate to put them on any of my FPV plants. All right, cool. So, yeah. All right, well, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks Hobby King for sponsoring this episode and we'll see you next time. See you next time.